So we are very glad to welcome you all this morning uh, with also a great, great group of investors that came in today from Canada and the United States, as we used to. Um, for our first panel, uh, which is, is very great in the last two, three years, is the momentum we got in Quebec for venture capital. So the venture capital industry had a very great comeback uh, in Quebec, especially uh, with a vengeance. So there's a lot of money available. There are smart investors, a new generation of investors. And uh, the people we have on board today for this panel are the key people behind this great comeback of the venture capital industry, uh, giving us a great age for the entrepreneur here. Uh, we also are very pleased to have the mover and shakers of the VC industry with the, their counterpart in the United States. So to have uh, people from great funds of fun in the US and uh, strategic investors. So I won't uh, say you more for now. I'll let introduce Mr. Samuel Schaffner, our very good friend from Boston uh, with a great international reach who did help us to uh, welcome uh, these great gentlemen and gentlewomen and to uh, moderate this panel. So thank you very much and we'll let Sam introduce. Thank you very much, Martin. First of all, I'd like to begin by noting that this is the sixth year in a row that I've been privileged to bring investors to Montreal. And uh, the first year that I did it, in 2008, I brought someone from uh, Harbor Vest, and uh, this year again, someone from Harbor Vest. Only that time he had his own private plane and limousine, so he got here on time. <laughs> um, there are, or will be, six of us up here. And of those six, half of us live in Boston. And you all know what happened in Boston two days ago. There was a terrible act of terrorism on a, a state holiday called Patriots Day of great symbolic uh, value. Many of these sports teams in uh, the United States began their performances with a moment of silence. I'm not going to ask you to do that. And there's a reason. We don't know for sure who did this, but most of the groups who, who perpetrate acts of terrorism of this sort, um, especially in a very symbolic way, like on Patriots Day, do it for a reason. But for that reason, I'm not going to ask for a moment of silence because we fight best when we fight back with speech. We don't in terrorize people, we don't make people afraid, rather we build bridges between countries. There's an old banker's saying, if you lend a little bit of money, you get a borrower. If you lend a lot of money, you get a partner. If we can promote international finance, we build bridges, we make partners, we win the war of ideas in a way that no bombs can stop and especially with the young entrepreneurs around the world, the, build, the bridges that we build with them in sharing with their entrepreneurial ideas, in sharing with their individual free actions is the best way to build bridges and to counter terror, uh, cowardly acts of this sort. So with that introduction, we happen to have a very international panel here. Let's see, uh, I'm the least international, I'm just an American, that's all. Um, uh, let's see, starting from, uh, from the, let's see, from the, uh, that end, the far end, uh, we have uh, Senia Rapisarda. Did I say that right? Oh. <laughs> In that case, no. <laughs> um, Senia, I'm told, speaks French with an Italian accent or Italian with a French accent or England, uh, English with God knows what accent, but, uh, but she is truly a citizen of the world. And uh, uh, she is the Vice President of Strategic Initiatives and Investments of BDC, which I think needs no introduction in a crowd of, of this nature. Next to her is Henrik Holland. He's probably got the most international background of anyone. Uh, he began his life in Montreal, but in an Anglophone area of Montreal. Uh, then he moved 
to Spain, uh, Singapore, eventually ending up in Holland. And just last week, just this past week, he moved from Holland to Boston uh, the day before what happened happened. And uh, Henrik is the head of strategic investments for the eastern United States and Canada for a little oil company known as Royal Dutch Shell. <laughs> and uh, he's here looking for good deals in advanced materials and other matters relating to, um, to petroleum and uh, clean tech and such. So I'll let him tell you more about, well, actually his materials and you can talk to him privately for more information about that. Then we have Sylvie Pinsonneau. Did I say that right? Perfect. Really? I'm surprised. Okay. She is the Vice President of Investment Funds uh, and Business Immigration and Tax Measures for Investissement Quebec, uh, which is, of course, a, uh, again, you probably have heard of that, the major uh, fund of funds here. And Jacques Bernier is the President of Terralist, the biggest fund of funds in Canada. And the empty seat is Chris Walker, or will be Chris Walker, who is an investment uh, principal at uh, Harborvest, which is the largest fund of funds in the world, as far as I know, at least the largest independent one. And it invests only in venture funds, um, both directly and through secondaries. So we have a truly international panel. <laughs> 